as far as you're concerned right now, there's nobody else around you. It's just you and the breath. Try to cut off any, any narratives, any connections. And just see what you've got right here on your own. This is an important part of the practice, is cutting through all your ideas about this person, that person, that person should be this way, this person should be that way. You've got to look at the way you are on your own. And again, you've got to look at things with fresh eyes. Sometimes they call this beginner's mind. You can't be a total beginner. You do have some questions in mind, and there are some issues that really are worth keeping in mind. In other words, we're here looking for why the mind causes itself to suffer, why it causes stress for itself, why it causes burdens for itself, even though it's looking for happiness and ends up creating all kinds of suffering. Why is that? That's a big question you want to hold in mind. But the answers to that question may not be what you expect, so that's what you have to be open for. When you sit down to meditate, you don't have to have preconceived notions about where it's going to go. You know there are a couple of issues and a couple of basic principles you want to hold to, but then how it's going to work out, that's going to have to depend on the meditation, and it depends on your listening very carefully to your mind, listening very carefully to the breath. In other words, paying very, very close attention to what they need. Because if all you can see is that you think it should be this way, you think it should be that way, well, if it's not that way, then you're not going to see what, the way it really is. And that way you miss all the important things. I mean, you look, I'm going to see the process of fabrication in your own mind. You've got to see it in action. You may read about it, you may have all kinds of ideas about it, but you have to actually watch it happening and gain a sense of when it's skillful and when it's not. This is a kind of sensitivity you have to develop over time as to what works and what really doesn't work. And what works today may not work tomorrow, but a lot of things that do work today will work again tomorrow. You've got to sort those out, too. That means you have to pay very, very, very careful attention to how things are going and put as many preconceived notions out of your mind as you can. Because if you see things through heavy filters, that's what all you see is the, the filtered information. It's like those satellites who for years were gathering the data on the, the ozone hole. But their computer program told them it couldn't happen, so they kept throwing the data away. They didn't see what was right before them. It's the same with us as meditators. A lot of times we don't see what's actually happening right before us. So you have to be willing to listen to the rhythms of the mind and the rhythms of the breath and adjust things accordingly. That's how you're going to develop the, the sensitivity that leads to discernment. <laughs>